Who has the longest beard? Hey, my beard is longer than all y'all's beard. Martin may have the longest, but he's only got like 10 hairs coming out. Easy on the beard jokes. That's worse than a yo mama joke. Hey, look here, beard jokes are a lot like your mama jokes. Hey, look here, your beard is so fat, not even door can explore it. Your beard is so ugly, when it tried to take a bath, the water jumped right out. Your beard is so stupid, it took it two hours to watch 60 minutes. Your beard is so hairy, you look like Chewbacca. <laughs> your beard is so dumb, it sits on the TV and watches the couch. <laughs> That's a good one, Jack. I don't care who you are. Hey, what my beard lacks in thickness, it makes up for in length. I'm about four. Reed links. I'm a little over three. About four and a quarter. Uh, right here at the base. It's four and a quarter. I got the longest beard. What are y'all doing? We're measuring our beards. That's right. How long was your beard? Reed length was. You think I'll sit down and measure my beard in reeds? It's five and a half. Oh. All right, anyway, look. I'm leaving out of town. I need you to You're sign. You're going out of town? Yeah. I have to go out of town for the day. And that means the likelihood of any work getting done while I'm gone is pretty much zero. Why don't you tell me when you're going out of town? I told you five times. Hey, if it were up to me, I would just break Jace's legs and chain him to his desk to make him work. I'd be like that weird chick off Misery, and he'd be the dude in the bed. But since there's regulations against that now, I've come up with another way to keep him at the office. You got one job. One job. Sign for a package. Four o'clock. Got it? I got it. You're going out of town. Good luck. And what are you doing? Signing for the package. Signing for the package. At what time? Uh. <laughs> I just told you the answer. <laughs> okay. I wasn't paying attention. I got Four it. o'clock. Four o'clock. Four All o'clock. Right. I'm going to go sell them. Y'all got to make them. All right. Have fun. Selling some duck calls, boys. Oh, boy. Hey, there's no way Willie's beard was five and a half reeds. I agree with you. I'm still king. See that bevel on that hoop right there? Yeah. I did that 28 years ago. What is a bevel? Who's that? Oh, that's a old Reed <laughs> Robinson, your grandson. Shut up, JJ. Hey, buddy. Hey. I got your jersey. Thank you. Especially in the Southern culture, young people are taught to respect older people, myself included. So I use that to my advantage. What can I get out of that bus today before I get them out of here? I'm going to patch that hook right there, and I'm going to show you boys how to do it. They always come up with excuses right off the bat. Well, actually, actually we're, we're going to go watch uh, last night's game, game film, see what we did wrong. I've got football practice. I'm sick. I've had a sore throat for three days. Right now, I'm throwing up. I'm bleeding over here. Great. Let me show you something right here. Free labor. Can't beat it. Well, if y'all are going to go to work on the nets, I'm going to go start on lunch. How about, Phil? We really do need to go. We're going to go watch film and stuff. Let me explain something to y'all. See, y'all are trying to make it. Well, I did make it. I played at Louisiana Tech. The old blonde bomber, old Bradshaw, he was a second stringer to me. Part of the reason I was tying up hook nets and he wasn't. See what I'm saying? Yes, sir. This right here will help your hand-eye coordination beyond anything you ever thought. Take about it. See what I'm saying? Football. <laughs> Lateral. Oh, oh, I know. You know, who? See what I'm saying? All right. See what I'm saying? Reed, I think we just got Mr. Miyagi'd by your grandfather. Football. Favorite blind? My favorite blind to hunt. That's a tough question. The best blind is on the dog. 
You doggone right. That's one of the best blinds we got. We need to hunt that sucker tomorrow. Yeah, I'm with you on that, but the blind don't have any brush on it. Well, hey, we can easily rectify that. Brush it today. Willie is gone. Not only that, he ain't here. Know what I'm saying? I think so. <laughs> I'm, I'm saying, hey, her. let's leave this duck call shop. I'm ready. I'll take a dare. I'm waiting for somebody to move. We ready? What are you talking about? Shotgun. Here we go. Driving. Sorry, you're not driving. It's my truck. Right, look. Well, hey, in that case, I want to drive for sure. Metal. Just because there's a button over it don't mean you got to touch it. It wasn't me. Sir? Si? Yeah, what? Work. Quit pushing the button. Hey, I'm not doing it. Look, my hands are here. One's on the tea glass, the other one's in the open. Get You're there. hitting it with your knee, sir. Si. When you, whatever hits the button, it, it engages. Hey, look, it wasn't me. Sir? Si? I'm not doing it. When Phil gets a brush ready, he got a pile of it, don't he? I'm glad I got some uh, big hombres. Treat them like mules. <laughs> you talking to me? Yeah, I'm talking about you. Talk about it. it. Looks like I got a bunch of pro wrestlers out here. Rednecks are fascinated with wrestling. My favorite was Hacksaw Jim Duggan. He represented the redneck world. Probably the most torn up I ever was watching a TV show is when King Kong Bundy beat Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Oh! I mean, it took me a month to get over it. It's terrible. Oh, what about old that dude that drank all that beer when he was up there? Stone Cold? Stone Cold Steve. Yeah. Austin, that's a redneck. Jake the Snake? Yeah, I like him. Catwoman. That's not a wrestler. Oh, no, she's a feminine feline. Oh, this just got real weird. Oh, yeah. No, what do you mean it got weird? Hey, look, we got to brush the blind, boys. Come on, cat woman. Da 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 Well, this thing's taking shape. Looks pretty good. Yeah, it looks real good. Hey, on a slow day, it'd be good. You lay down and go to sleep. So you always talk about superheroes, and then in the next breath, you want to lay down and go to sleep somewhere. Superheroes got to get his rest. How do you charge yourself, Si? A superhero can't reveal his secrets. They put them on national TV. Everybody knows their secrets. No, I'm just like Victoria. She's got secrets. Hey, so do I. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got the duck food. Ain't no doubt about oh, that. Oh, I know. Hey, what's that up there on the levee behind the boat, boy? Deer? What? No, wasn't no deer. Hey. That's a big black cat again, boys. Ah, it wasn't a black cat. I, I'm telling you, it was that black cat, man. Most people, when they see a black cat cross the road, they think it's bad luck. When Cy sees a black cat cross the road, he sees a panther. I know for sure I saw him, Jack. One of Cy's greatest stories is about the time he saw a black panther while riding in a vehicle. That I was driving. Two times I've seen that big black panther. Hey, trust me, he exists, OK? I've seen him twice, and I see his tracks all the time. That thing weighed, Paul, what, 100, 125 pounds? <laughs> 125 hey, pounds? Hey, I'm telling you. There ain't no black cat that big around here. Are hey, you kidding? This ain't no chupacabra. This ain't no Bigfoot. It's definitely in the Sasquatch. Hey, look here, I've seen all of them before. This is something totally different. I don't have time for this. Hey, Black I'm gonna be late. Good night. Who locked the doors? Uh-oh. Sir? Hey, I didn't lock it. But hey, I'm looking at your keys in the ignition. Hey, look here. Jason's truck locked itself. Hey, it was just like in Terminator 2. What did I tell y'all about this stupid truck with this stupid automatic lock crap? This is how it all begins. They take over. Skynet, Jack, hey. Sir, you locked the door. No, I did not. 
You don't have to have a CSI investigation to figure out who did this. That sucker here's a piece of junk. Blame shifter. Hey, it locked us out. The fact that nobody's saying anything except Cy. Si. No, 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 no. Cy. Si. No, no. It's a dead giveaway. I didn't do it. Well, what are we gonna do now? We walk. Hey, this thing's a piece of junk. We still have time. Cy. Si. It's a now, piece of junk. Now you triggered the alarm. Hey, it locked you out. And now, it's sitting back there making a bunch of racket. The sun done got to these boys. Thanks to you, sir. Hey, it wasn't me. The odds of me making it back to the warehouse before 4 o'clock are getting slimmer by the second. Automatic locking system gone berserk. And nobody's going to care about my excuses, which are really good. Look at the size Whoa. of that poop. There's ants on that poop. Good night. That's a bobcat or a young coat. No, that's uh, panther poop, boy. <laughs> <laughs> you know why you see all these black panthers? Why? Because everything at a distance looks dark. No. Yeah. No. Well? No. Yeah. Hey. No. I'm gonna go with Si on this one. What? No. Yeah, I'm gonna Si on this one. I don't care if you go 30 feet or 30 miles. If you can see him, he's still gonna be a black panther. We'll solve that right now. Goblin, you play the role of the panther. Well, what do they sound like? We ain't worried about the sound. Wow! Don't make any sound. All yeah, right, no. what do they eat? It, Goblin, you're, you're missing the point here. He's hungry. It doesn't matter what they eat. Well, I just wanna get in the car. You're, you're, you're just an object that's gonna turn dark after distance. We'll right. prove this right now. Y'all tell me when to stop. Just keep going. It's going to be a while. I'll let you know. All right, dude. Let's hurry up and get out of here. I know. I'm almost done right here. Y'all got it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Not bad. Boys, that takes care of your little hand-eye coordination, see? All right. So, uh, All right, we're going to head out of here. I think we're going to hit the huh? road. Well, before you do, look here. I'm fast running out of how to relate everything to football. But one thing for sure, I'm not running out of chores at all. Come out of your shoes. Let me show you something. Come out of our shoes? Yeah, it'll help you a lot. Take them off. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah, this y'all need some work in this area right here. Your feet looking like this, like little tender women's feet? No good. You want the bottom of your feet calluses, thick callus. Y'all get over there and get that boat. Get on one end, you walk across that gravel, it's gonna toughen it up your feet. You wanna win? Yes. You wanna win? Yes. Y'all grab that boat and head that way. We gotta win, big team. See, they're young enough and dumb enough not to realize that you're gonna use every ounce of physical labor you can get out of them. All right, boys, show me what you got. Footwork. Y'all gonna have the toughest feet on the whole squad. <sighs> oh, crap. Learn how to play with pain. <laughs> Pain's a good thing. Great, I think your grandfather's lost it. What was that? Nothing. <laughs> That's what I thought. You'd think I would've learned by now. Stop! Right there! Perfect. I don't care how far he goes down there. That white flag he's got that he called that little goatee, it ain't gonna look dark. Once he goes down into panther position, no, he's just gonna look like a dark blob. Jason's trying to convince me that, hey, Johnny Gowan, bald headed with a white Fu Manchu, okay, if I get him at the right distance, he's gonna look like a black panther, okay? It ain't gonna happen. Hey! Like this. Get out like a panther. Black panther sightings come from two places, zoos and people with real thick glasses. <laughs> if I can't tell at that distance. That's why I'm not a receiver. Mr. Magoo over here definitely can't tell. Just like it right here, licking his left shoulder. Ty, si, what are you talking about? Hey, the panther was licking his left shoulder. Lick your left shoulder. What is he doing now? What is he doing? Cross the road! All right. Hey, there. look, <laughs> look at that right there. You don't tell me that don't look like just a black blob. You know what that look like? A big black bear with a white beard. Hey, look here. Talk about my eyesight all you want to, but hey, back in Nam, they call me crazy eyes. 
the guys would say, hey, look out, here come crazy eyes. Hey, crazy eyes is coming around the corner. That was because my eyes are crazy good. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> you telling me I don't look like a, just a hey. dark blob? Looks like a drunk redneck looking for his keys. <laughs> <laughs> you can't see it, it looks dark. Hey, look dark because he's got a dark shirt on. Hey, take your shirt off. Panthers don't wear clothes. Good grief. Wow! There he goes again. There he goes again. <laughs> Would you agree it's dark? Yeah, because, hey, he's got a stupid dark shirt on. It doesn't matter. Yeah, tell him to take your shirt off. Go and take your shirt off. Take your shirt off. And do it again. Using Godwin as my guinea pig was probably not such a good idea, but it was a pretty good visual. Yeah! There he goes. <laughs> hey, 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 that's what I'm talking about. Hey, that's what I came to see. Uh, is there anything dark about that? He, it was darker than normal. No. You know what that looked like to me? A big polar bear wearing pants. The lesson I learned, don't send a walrus to do a panther's job. I, I gotta go. I don't have time to try to prove Look. a point that everybody knows. I can't believe I was a part of this. I'm not gonna tell anybody what we did today. Wow! You want us to bang all these nails down? Bang all the nails down. All down the dock. You got it. What is this, hand-eye coordination or something? Oh, no. This is, uh... <sighs> At some point in there, they begin to question is this really helping, Mr. Field? Well, boys, I think we all know what's going on here. Let's just try to get through the process as painlessly as possible. Painlessly for you, maybe. Say what? Nothing. That's what I thought. Let's face it. We're keeping you out of trouble, and I'm using you as a workforce. Suck it up. And this keeps you from being distracted by all the little cheerleading chicks. <laughs> Both of you look like Tars and Son. Bumba. When these boys are about 17 and they start checking out the cheerleaders on the sideline, all that kind of stuff, you know, it's best to keep them occupied. You liable to run up on a cotton mouth in there? <sighs> oh, no doubt about it. It's a free-for-all out there in America these days, especially when cheerleaders are concerned. You can't play ball and chase cheerleaders at the same time. Don't forget that. <laughs> yes, sir. Of course, when I was 17, I was checking out the chicks on the sideline. <laughs> This is really going to help y'all's ball playing, trust me. Yeah, I bet. Welcome to civilization. We're here. I got a blister the size of Goblin on him. I got to find me a vehicle. I'm going to find me a cow. Now, what's this bunch doing? Reed, I need your keys. So I locked the keys in the truck. We saw a Black Panther. Well, how, how am I going to get home? You figure it out. I'm moving along here. I got no time to chat. It looks like Phil has the old football routine going. Come on, Jeff. Ha! Huh. So it's just best to get out of the area quickly. He gonna drive it like he stole it. Looks like you would out a ride, son. Reed, I'm never coming back here again. They what? I'm never coming back here again. Yeah, that's what I thought. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, how are you? You the delivery man? Oh, yes, sir. Are you Jace? I'm Jace. Oh, well, here you go. I got a package for you. All right. I'm sign there. Woo! Whew. You're talking about in the nick of time. You didn't think we were going to make it, did you? No. Is this it? Yep. There you go. All you right. have a good day. Appreciate it. This is Willie Robinson. What could it be? You want to open it? Yeah. I'm going to see what all this fuss was about. What? A doll? That's a bobblehead. Are you kidding me? I'm risking life and limb to sign for a bobblehead? It don't look anything like Willie. Way too skinny. Willie clearly did this to keep me at the office all day. I mean, he gives these things out to business partners. He has hundreds of them. I walked three miles for this. I'm just gonna spin his head off. Got damaged in shipping. Yeah, damaged in shipping, all right.
<laughs> Whoops, <laughs> Willie had an accident. The silver lining is, I was there. Not late. Well, I was late. But I got the job done. You feel better? Yeah, pretty much. That didn't even represent Willie. That was an imposter. All right, whoever designed that needs to go back to the drawing board. Hey. Put some weight on it. Lord, we thank you for bringing home Willie safely from his trip. I thank you for this good food Miss Kay has prepared for us through Jesus, I pray. Amen. 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 The Robertson family is like a good bowl of Miss Kay's gumbo. All the ingredients may taste weird by themselves, but you need every single one to make the perfect blend. Every family member has their own set of quirks. One may see imaginary creatures in the woods. Another may hoodwink your children into doing chores. The important thing is learning to love them for exactly who they are, even if that means pretending to listen to Cy tell the Black Panther story for the millionth time. Hey, anything we don't eat, we can feed it to Cy's imaginary panther. <laughs> hey, ain't nothing imaginary about that thing, boys. Wow! John Luke, I prayed this day would never come. Yes, sir, it's a bad deal for everybody. Bad deal for everybody? It's a bad deal for me, worse than you. I'm just glad everybody's OK. John Luke got into a little accident. And you don't even have a scratch on you. I think the truck took the brunt of it. I mean, the truck protected him. Good night. The good news is, he's fine. How bad is it? On a scale from 1 to 10. It's probably a 5. The bad news is, a 5? My truck isn't. John Luke, we got to work on your rating system. Gentlemen. What's up, boss? Y'all need to get this order done. We're going to do it. You well, say that every time, you never get it done. We always get it done. You always say, we never get it done. If I didn't say you wouldn't get it done, you wouldn't get it done. That gummit. But we always get it done. What's the deal with this thing? What's the problem over there, boys? My talent ain't working, dude. The only thing working in here is email. Yeah, you know why? It's a piece of junk. That's why. Because I shut it down. What? Bye-bye, Wi-Fi. Mm. It's come to my attention that these slappies have been spending too much time on the internet. Firewall. What? I'm trying to get on. So I installed a firewall in order to shut down their internet usage. I have no idea what he's talking about, but can he really do that? Twitter, Facebook, MySpace, your space. I blocked all the social media sites. What'd you do that for? I did a little research, and I found out all the crap y'all been looking at. Hashtag, get over it. How are we supposed to do anything? Yeah, what's the password? Get back to work. Is that capitalized? Get back to work? That's not the password. That means just get back to work. Uh, I must break you. I'm not giving you the password. You need to. This is just ridiculous. There are two types of people at Duck Commander. Get off the social media site and start working. There are those who occasionally use the internet to pass the time. Well, I want to tweet. What would you possibly tweet? That you're balder today than you were yesterday? Then there are those who have absolutely no idea what the internet is. Hiya! All right, boys, how do I tweet on this thing? Hey, it's got buttons, cyberspace, and it's useless. I think, though, this piece of trash in the trash. There's also a third type of user, the internet hog. What? You keep bringing up social media like you're not on social media. I'm hardly ever on social media. I bet you tweeted before you walked in here. No, I did not. Gotta go quack some skulls in the duck call room. <laughs> All right, this is exactly why I'm putting Hashtag this. Hashtag life as a boss. All right, get to work. Hey, I got your tweet right here. That's a crow, sir. Not a tweet. I can't believe John Luke did that to my truck. Just dumb. You're the one who taught the kids how to drive. I'm an excellent driver. You're not an excellent teacher. It wasn't my teaching that was the problem. You're not a good teacher. Uh, just know this. You're, you're not a good driving teacher. Hey, I'm the one who's got to. You're 0 for 2. What else could it be? 
You must have got this dumbness from Jace or Si. Hey. Oh, hey. Look at here, hey. look at here. Hey, cutie pies. Sorry about your truck, Willie. Tell me about it. At least John Lake made it out OK. That was really a miracle. It's a miracle. Not a miracle for my truck. Apparently, Corey and Jessica don't really understand the definition of a miracle. It is a miracle. A miracle is when John Luke was born. That's a miracle. That is a miracle. Him destroying my truck? I'm just so thankful everybody's safe. It's, it's a, a miracle. miracle. Not a miracle. This is the worst you could imagine. Are you ready to go? Yeah, I'm ready. I just need to go first. What's happening here? We're taking the kids to Kay's. I thought you were taking them to loaner. So we can get many petties. You didn't... have to take me to get the loaner truck. I didn't know. Well, we can just drop them off on the way. All right, come on. Let me go out first. Right. And at least John Luke is safe. It's a miracle. Not a miracle. Hey, check this out. Oh, oh, hey. oh, oh, oh. What are y'all watching? <laughs> ah, that's exactly why I'm a duck hunter. Is this a movie? No, it's YouTube's eyes. It's got a lot of videos. YouTube. 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 Willie didn't block that? No, he forgot one website on the firewall. You know that guy? No. no. You make your own video and you can put it on there. Fun video? So there's all kinds of videos. Trying to explain technology to Sai. What do you say that this thing was? YouTube. Me too? YouTube. Ty, why can't you get this? It's impossible. Who to? YouTube. YouTube. That's the name of the website, Cy. This would be like teaching calculus to a bunch of toddlers. That's the dumbest name I've heard of, YouTube. Yeah. No wonder nobody knows what it is. The only difference here is you can send the toddler to his room and he will leave you alone for a while. Are y'all telling me, hey, this is a magic box that I can conjure up any movie in the world? It's a computer, but yeah. Anything about anything. Watch this one, Si. OK, what we got here? It's a large woman on the yeah. table. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Too much woman, not enough table. <laughs> she just broke something. Hey, that's the most horrible thing I've ever seen, Mark. Play it again. Look, I can really get into this YouTube. Good <laughs> grief. That's pretty neat there. They got everything on this thing. Wait for it. This ought to be good here. They got fainting goats. So much oh! Sneezing pandas. That's pretty cool. Double complete rainbows all the way. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Charlie bit my finger. Wow! Wow! Oh! Wow! <laughs> Where's this internet been all my life? All right, let's go eat. Burger time. Let's go eat some burgers. Yeah, come on. I ain't going. Hey, you don't want to come? Save me a couple of them and bring them back with you. All right. All right, you crazy geezer. All right, Black Panther. Wow, look how slick he moves. You can't even see how he moves. He moves so slick. Good grief, that sucker kicked him with both feet. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Ah, right, you still on that? Yeah, I'm still on it. Hey, did y'all go eat something? Yeah. 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 We've been gone an hour. No. <laughs> you have to be extremely careful when introducing Psy to new technology. You gotta be kidding me. Y'all just left. Now you know why it's called the web. It's on my spider web. He becomes obsessed with new fads. It is pretty cool. And you're addicted. It's like eating potato chips. Once you crunch on one, you're ready for the next one. But the instructional videos are horrible. Hey, that reminds me. I need you to help me set up a page on this thing. A YouTube page? Yeah, I'm gonna make an instructional video. All right, we can do that. <laughs> what are you laughing about? You can't do anything. What are you talking about? No. Hey, look here. People need to be taught everything. I can tell them how to train dogs. I can tell them how to catch fish. How to walk, how to talk. Or hunt ducks. How to eat hard shell taco without all the good stuff falling out. I can tell them how to give a proper handshake. Ain't no worse than feel like a wet dish rag in your hand. Tea refill, bathroom break, how to dougie. Okay. Okay, and I'd also tell them how to play golf. Say so you don't play golf. You know what? I ought to make an instructional video on the art of napping. Step one, hey, go to sleep. Hey, that's it. Since when have you become a professional hey, golf instructor? I worked as chief greenskeeper for three years. So what? <laughs> I don't need wooden teeth to teach about George Washington. 
That actually okay. makes sense. Good and teeth are brown. Golf is a very simple game. Yeah. So I think you got a great idea going here. You got the camera, your camera man. I got a camera right in the other room. Well, look, you bring the camera, meet me over at the golf course, all right? I believe so. All right. Don't let the door hit your butt when you're leaving. Do you think it's gonna be great? No, it's gonna be terrible. I'm not missing this. I'm going. All right, let's go. Let's go. This is gonna be epic. He's gonna get like a million hits. We'll get some hot dogs on the way. We just ate. Well, it looks like your paperwork's in order. So I'll just run around, get your loaner truck. Sounds good. Thank you. Are you about ready? Yeah, we really need to get going. We're going to miss our appointment. I don't think we're going to have what? time to get all the way out to Kay's, drop the kids off. No. Why don't you take them with you? Willie, look at them. They're going to be running around the whole nail salon, chopping chairs down and... Tragic. Willie. Willie. I've been married 21 years, so I've heard every guilt trip out there. I didn't know this was going to take this long. Me neither. We didn't know this was going to take this long. Sucks for y'all. And I see exactly what's going on here. So we'll just have to reschedule. Yep, reschedule. Yeah, we'll just cancel for you. And I'm not falling for it this time. All right, look, here's the deal. You would take them? <laughs> ain't no way, ain't no how I'm not. Thanks, Willie. Thank you, baby. It's what I do. It's who I am. On the other hand, I always love winning a few extra points with Corey. That was really a miracle. It is a miracle. All right, kids. Y'all ready to have fun with Uncle Willie? Hey, oh, easy. All right, get your crap. Let's go. God. Hey, I love kids, and kids love me. <laughs> Turd. This will be fun. Come on. Ow. <laughs> and I'm going to win points. No points for me. God. Not a point. Good thing Uncle Willie doesn't take crap from anyone. He's having fun with the kids. All right. Hit them harder, River. All right, that's good, that's good. Especially not a little four-year-old with a faux hawk. Hey, little punk. Ready to roll? Yeah. This is a 2014 Silverado. Most fuel-efficient V8 in. Hey, stop it. Do they have child restraints? I don't know about that, but it's got a great towing capacity. Ow! It's got a MyLink system. Will it help your son to know that he can't pull a soaked boat out of a river? Mm. Got you again. All right. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! All right. You have an anti-sword device? Ow! And here yeah. he comes. Look oh. at this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I told you to meet me with your camera. What'd you invite the Three Stooges for? Oh, we couldn't miss this. What are you wearing? Look, you can't go out there dressed like a baffoon, okay? Hey, look here. The first step in instructing, you've got to look the part. Golf is a game of etiquette and rules. Hey, some people might say I look goofy. You got to have the proper attire on. But what I say is, hey, I look like a professional golf instructor. You can have a horrible game, but as long as you do it with class, nobody's going to give a flip. If you want to teach somebody how to be a ninja, then you got to have one of them little diapers on. All right, Jep, you ready? I'm ready. OK, we'll turn it off. I ain't quite ready. <laughs> so, <laughs> you can't rush perfection, boys. All right, here we go. Uh-oh. Don't hurt yourself, Si. All right, hey, this is Si Robertson, all right? Amateur golfer, but a professional golf instructor, OK? <laughs> Listen. <laughs> hey, will you hear this shut up? All right, we're sorry. All right, Try hey. again. All right. Four basic simple steps. Step number one, stance. OK? Step two. <laughs> That's <laughs> it. Hey, what else you want? Following Cy anywhere is usually a terrible idea. OK, step two. If you want this ball to go a pretty good distance, you swing hard. Oh, that's deep. But I have to admit. Then paramount importance, hit the little white ball. This trip has turned out to be far more entertaining than I expected. Crap! <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. All right. Oh. <laughs> yep, we're on the green. No, we're not. Yeah, we're on the green. No, not so much. Yeah. Hey, putting lessons coming up. Let's go. Grab it for me, carry it caddy. Am I the caddy? You're made for carrying loads, Gavin. Si, this has to be the worst instruction of all time. No, what are you talking about? I'm on the green. Si, do you know what the green is? All right, are y'all ready to go to Mama K's? No! We want ice cream. I've had plenty of experience raising children. Please, 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 please. And one of the most important lessons I've learned about kids... Oh, we can get that later. Let's go to Mama K's. Ice cream, ice cream. 
cream, ice cream. Saying no is a lot more difficult than saying yes. You all ready for some ice cream? Yeah. Especially when they're not your kids. See what we have. Hey, I didn't even get to see. Hey, welcome to Eskimos. What can uh, I get for you? Hey, we want a, um... What do you want? I want a mix of... I want a mix of that pink. Okay, just give her a Sunday. It's fine. A Sunday? Yeah. I want a big uh, size. Small. Two smalls. Taking care of kids is easy. Do you have hot dogs? We have simple dogs and chili dogs. Find out what they want. I want a mix of... Give me one of each. And then get it for them. Who's your favorite uncle, me or Uncle Jay? After today, Uncle Willie is going to be the most popular uncle ever. Uncle Willie. Yeah! Weaver, who's your favorite uncle? Uh oh, Lily. Well, all right, I'm gonna count that for Willie. I wish making grown ups happy was as easy as making kids happy. Don't get on the truck. Here, there's some napkins. All right, kids. The world would be a much better place. Uh, I spilled it. Stella, what did I just say? Don't spill it. Uh. All right. Continuing along with Cy Robertson instructional video on golf. First two were successful. Good stance, good swing. We're on the green. Step number three. Figure out your long putt. Oh, hold on. I thought it was a penalty to putt it with the flag in the hole. No, that's just superstition. Do you know what superstition means? Superstition means... Kelly, you want to get the flag? I can do it. You do that, right? You're the caddy. Okay, you're Don't the caddy. Don't run on the green. Don't run on the green. You can tell a lot about a golfer. Look, you're making holes right where you're going. By looking at his caddy. I ain't making holes in the... You pack. weigh 300 pounds, you're making holes. Trust yeah. me. Godwin knows nothing about golf. Godwin, quit playing with a flag. Hold it straight, dummy. You got a dump truck for a caddy. Which makes him the perfect caddy for Cy. Si. Gowan, pull the flag and move your foot, you idiot. It's actually possible that Gowan's caddying. Uh oh. Gowan is worse than size golfing. Oh! He's a oh. terrible caddy. He wasn't about to go in. And that's saying a lot. Hey, at this point, you want to break into step four, okay? Don't overdo it. Let's see what you got. You overdid it. Okay, look, let's end this video. Stance, swing, long putt. Hey, long putt. And okay. don't overdo it. And don't overdo it. This is Sal Robertson saying, hey, four steps, and I'll make you a great golfer. Let's get out of here. I'm going to have to find me another caddy. I see that right now. Rule number five, blame the caddy. Whoa! OK, we're on our way. We're running a little late. You got hey, don't get that ice cream on the truck, all right? I have to say, driving still in River Round was not exactly at the top of my list today, but it's actually kind of fun. Hey, you know, you're not supposed to talk and drive. OK, it's hands-free. Oh, River, you want some? No, no, no. Don't give each other ice cream and don't spill anything, all right? We're getting delicious ice cream. I'm their favorite uncle. Are you holding the phone <laughs> with your mouth? I don't have to be holding my phone. I'm just talking. On what? <laughs> Don't get it on the seat. Shelly. You know, it's kind of nice to spend an afternoon with kids that don't cost you an arm and a leg. We need some napkins back here. Oh, crap. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. My stomach hurts. Do not throw up in this truck, you hear me? <laughs> oh, really? Oh, my gosh. So much for the new car smell. Oh, oh my God. God. Hey, don't let, hey. Yes. Ah. Uncle Willie, you're our favorite uncle. All right, that's it. I don't want to be the favorite uncle anymore. I'm out. You're going to clean that crap up, kids. You were responsible for us. All right, Jeff, I can't take any more. Let's look and see how many views we got. Let's see. Let's scroll down. Ooh, 91 views. That's good. good. 91 views. It's only been on there for a minute. So I got a few comments here. JR1000 said, wow, this is incredible. What an eye-opening video. See, hey, that guy gets it. You ever have a buddy that is constantly doing something embarrassing? Can't wait to dominate the country club. Thanks, Golf Wizard. Hey, 
and everybody wants to tell him, but nobody knows how. This is great. We're getting feedback. Well, that's Sai. Okay, this other random guy named the Godwin. The only difference is we tell him all the time. Bingo! That guy, hey, he got it. He just doesn't care. All right, Sai, there's one more comment, and this one may sting a little. Uh-oh. This is from Jep, the guy who made this video. <laughs> and it says, hey, Sai, the first comments were by Jace, Godwin, and Mark. <laughs> Come on, man. We love you, but you are terrible at golf. Thanks for some good laughs. Hey, look here. Every great teacher in the history of time has had naysayers. Y'all messing with me. No. 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 These boys, hey, they're just jealous of my new talent. Hey, you guys are idiots. But hey, when I become a hit, hey, every party has a pooper, boys. And you are poopers. Guess who's going to have the last laugh then? Guess who? Ha, ha, ha. Me. Hey, look. You idiot a block from my YouTube page. OK, it's quitting time. Let's go. All right, you guys' comments are going to be thumbs down. Yep, we're on the green. Good night. I don't even remember an order this much food. Oh, my goodness. Well, chalk that up for lesson learned. They think you're the best uncle in the world. God, I'm just glad they didn't puke in here. Hey, kiddos. Hey. Hey. Hey, John Lake. Oh, what happened to your truck? River and Cellar destroyed the back of it with ice cream. Well, Dad, it looks like you're good at wrecking trucks, too, though. You know what? Let me teach you a lesson about trucks. You take this cleaner, what's left of the napkins, go ahead and detail that truck, son. Yes, sir. All right. Good luck, John Luke. Sorry, John Luke. Luke. What'd you do to this truck? Make sure you get the hot dogs out of there. Father, thank you for this good food you blessed us with. Thank you, Father, for all our family members, both young and old. Through Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen. Part of being a parent means letting your kids make their own mistakes. Handing over your car keys to your teenager is never easy. Hearing that they've had an accident is even harder. And though you may want to be mad at them, the truth is you're just thankful that they're still OK. Because possessions like my truck are just things, even if they are one-of-a-kind, awesome, mud-digging things. And things are replaceable. Family isn't, especially not Cy. By the way, Cy, I took that clip down. You embarrass us enough as it is. Hey. Thank y'all so much for coming out to honor somebody so dear to me. It's tragic when a life gets cut short. And so much to look forward to in life. He loved to eat, too. He did have an appetite. Yeah. Love nuts. He stuffed them in his mouth till he gagged. Oh, that's for sure. Amen. I like it when he went. <laughs> Amen. He had a really pretty tail. Yep. He was a pretty good squirrel. I've been to a lot of funerals in my life. Some were for two-legged creatures. Some were for four. Are you going to honor his memory? by hunting down that devil of a snake that killed him? I think she just ordered a hit. Hit accepted. Amen. I'll use all my skills to hunt down this venomous viper so we can administer justice. I won't sleep. I won't rest until vengeance is done. What about eat? Oh, he'll eat. He has to keep up his strength. It's the least we can do for Earl the Squirrel and give Kay a bit of closure. I will curry comb the countryside down there. It might take more than just you. I'll form a posse. Yeah, I like the sound of that. We'll call it the reckoning. I want to be in the reckoning. Cole's in. I can. I'm going out of town tonight. What are you talking about? We're, we're making things right. Yeah, we need to wrap this up. I mean, let's go. OK. OK. All right. Good deal. I feel good now. All right, let's I'm glad. Let's lunch. get OK. Well, I kind of wanted to say a few words. OK, and... we'll leave you alone with your squirrel. Hey, we're forming a posse. Is this thing not awesome, River? Watch this. Watch this, River. Get up on two wheels. Jump! Yeah. You ready? Ready for what? We got a posse. Posse of what? I'm going to kill a snake. 
Well, that sounds great, man. You know Kay's pet squirrel? Yeah. He gone. He dead. Hmm. This is perhaps the biggest cottonmouth moccasin ever. What? What? What are you doing? I'm trying to pop a wheelie. River? Did you get that for Christmas? This is me and River's present together. This is what we do for fun. It's father-son time. No, River's playing with his phone. He could care less about that stupid he, truck you he got. He was just driving five nah, minutes ago. he wasn't driving. Yeah. He was driving. We, we take turns. Now, my turns are longer because I'm, I'm bigger. Hey, River, you ever play with that truck? No, that's Dad's toy. That's what I figured. We're taking turns. It was my turn first, OK? When your mom says blood for blood, you form a posse and make things right. Put the toy up and let's go, son. Dude, this is not a toy. This is a hobby-grade vehicle. I don't know what that means. It means it's a piece of junk. Ideally, I would like to form the Magnificent Seven. But realistically, I'll take what I can get. Jeb, how much does that thing carry? Five pounds. It's actually pretty cool. It is cool. It would be cool if I was seven. Even Billy the Kid didn't play with toys. And his name was Billy the Kid. All right, you in or out? This is serious business, Jim. Me and River are gonna stay here and keep doing some daddy sun time. But good luck on your quest. Hey, babe. Hey. I need you to come help me clean out this closet. I can't, baby. I, Why? I, I'm, I'm in a posse with Jace. We got to kill snakes. You're in a what? Posse. It's a long story. I love you. I'll Seriously? be back. Seriously? Yeah. River, have fun with the truck, buddy. You can't wear that. Oh, yeah. Let me go change. Get changed. We'll be back. Is that pathetic or what? Rebecca, I'm looking over the numbers of Duck and Dressing. I've noticed that the top selling t-shirt we had, you took it out of the inventory. What It was the best the, seller we had. The Monroe and West Monroe shirt. Right. Everyone was coming in to get it, and like they weren't buying anything else. So I was like giving them a chance to buy something else. So I took it out. You took the hottest selling thing we had, took it off the shelf so that people would try to buy other things? Yes. OK. All right, let's don't do that. You can probably guess by looking at me, I'm not really into clothes. So when Rebecca came to me asking for advice about her clothing store, I knew that what I lacked in fashion sense, I'd make up for with business sense. Let's say you have a hamburger place, and people love your hamburgers. Mm -hmm. And you took the hamburger away so that maybe they would order something else. They may not come back. They might get the hot dog, so. Unfortunately, it's starting to seem like Rebecca knows as much about business as I do about clothes. But I think the idea is good, though, right? No, it's not. Uh oh. If I can't figure out how to help her, this fashionista will be saying hasta la vista to her business. Do you want to just come by the store and check it out? That's a great idea. I think I need to come, check everything out, look at your inventory. Pardon. OK. I need this. Jace, I'm in a meeting right now. We're forming yeah. a posse. You want to ride with her? Put my machete back up. That's kind of dangerous. Yeah, that's why I need hey, it. We're forming a posse. A posse of what? This is a posse. Hey, this is a posse. What is a posse? Don't ask. I'm gonna kill that snake. Uh, is this about the squirrel? Yeah, they yeah. killed Case hey, pet you squirrel. You know how your mama is. You yeah, shoot you squirrels and eat squirrels. Yeah, but hey, this was your mama's pet squirrel. There's a difference. There's a difference. What's Big the difference? difference? I don't know those squirrels. I know this squirrel. Yeah. You're gonna kill it with a machete? That's what he's gonna use. Yeah. I'm gonna use a pistol. Are you riding with us or not? No. Well, that's good. It works for us anyway. Yep. What do you got to do? I've got a business meeting with Rebecca, so I'm sorry I can't that's, ride. That's perfect. Yeah, that's perfect. I need to rest the day off. Go ahead and take care of Rebecca's problem at the store. We're running we'll be, a business. You know, forming a posse and taking like care of the snake that killed him. OK? Yeah, posse. All right, let's go. We're forming a posse. All right, what time do you get to work? Uh, It varies. How does it vary? Oh, well, depending on, like, if it's rainy or... Oh, boy. What time do you open? Around 11. 10, actually 10. See those water marks on the tree? Uh-huh. All that water came down, and now it's just a snake-infested bit of water. So be on the lookout. We're in the danger zone. Hey, let me borrow your machete. I, I got to get something. All right. Don't hurt yourself, sir. Hold, hold my machete. Yep. So, we're almost here. I mean... I know. Making sure. Huh? What? What are you doing? I'm gonna show y'all a trick. You making a spear, son? No. 
Hey, look, young folks today are too focused on smartphones, smart watches, and smart water. I'm not about anything smart. Okay. Okay. Good grief. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Look, these methods are tried and true, okay? So, hey, look, when I try them, these idiots will see that what I say is true. Okay, here's what you do. What are you doing? Do what? Look, when you're handling snakes, you got to think like a snake. It's the only thing I can think of is You can actually charm snakes to you. That's how you get worms. What's the difference? Oh, there's a big difference. No. These guys think they're snake experts. But look, I'm the only one on the ground rubbing a stick. Explain that. Ty, that ain't gonna work. What are you talking about? <coughs> He's worn out from cutting down the stick. Whatever. All right, me and Jeff will take the left. You and Cole take the right. Cole, watch on the riverbanks. Stepping light. You can probably see one laid up down there. I'm telling you. Good night, look right there. Uh-oh. Did you get him? He's dead. Was he in the water or on the bank? He was up under this log. But he was on the bank, right? Yeah, he was on the bank. Well, hey, he was coming up the bank to them sticks. I tell you, it'd work. They're water moxicans. Boy, I tell you one thing. All right, boys. He is dead. We ain't got but 200 to go, boys. Hey, playtime's over. This is big boy hunting. This is serious business here, buddy. Um, do you work here? Yeah. <laughs> Can you tell me if you have a medium in this? Not in this color. So mm -hmm. how much do you pay Sadie? Oh, I don't pay her. She works for free. That's smart. Have a great day. You too. All right. What happened? We didn't have our size. See, you may have lost that customer forever. You gotta close the deal. Rebecca clearly has an eye for style, but I'm here to fix what's underneath all that, the business operations. It's just like in fishing. If he's not in the boat, it doesn't count, right? Teach a man to fish. No, that's not, I'm, we're but not. But you just said, like. <sighs> Look, I'm just saying, there's a reason Duck Commander is doing so well. It's because I know what I'm doing, and Rebecca could learn a trick or two from her old man. It's like in baseball, you got a closer. The guy comes in to do what? To hit the ball. No, he's not hitting the ball, he's throwing the ball. So you're teaching people how to play baseball now? We're not. I guess we could both stand to learn from each other. Wouldn't mind figuring out how to convince these guys in the duck call room to work pro bono. All right, Dad. Why don't the next person that comes in, you try to sell to them? That's good. Piece of cake, deal. I will reel them right in. Wait, we're fishing again? We're not fishing. How often do customers come in here? Sometimes it'll be like an hour or two. Are you kidding? Sleepy. Oh, there's someone here. You're oh, up. Cool. Don't be too pushy, please. Hey, how we doing? Good Hi. to see you. I'm Willie. Nice Good to, to meet see you. Yeah, I'm new here. Okay. What yeah. we looking for? Some clothes? My whole life, I've been trained to sell and close deals. The first thing you got to remember is this: know your product. I've been looking for raw denim. Hmm. Probably all raw, I would imagine. Most of it's just cotton. Um, it's a certain type of denim. You're not supposed to wash it. Oh. Number two is add-on, upsell, or cross-sell. We don't have exactly raw. I'll probably what check about back. a shirt? Could I? I maybe was really a shirt? just looking for the raw denim today, so. Um, and last but not least, know your customer. If you show some effort in getting to know them, they will remember you for a lifetime. All right, thank you. You good? Yeah. Cool tattoos. I like that. I got two myself. <laughs> It'll keep them coming back. Trust me on this one. That was y'all's fault because you didn't have whatever she wanted, raw denim. Never heard well, of it. Well, but you say upselling. Mm -hmm. Okay, you cannot help us with women selling. You are not very good at that. But this oh. is my plan. We give Dad like a makeover and put it on our Instagram, like Transformation Thursday, you know. We'll do a like, photo shoot. Yeah. Maybe Promote we can it. even get yeah. like Jason's side. Yeah. Like, Use your status. Anybody. That would yeah. be awesome. All right, fine. Whatever it takes to help y'all, I'll do it. Okay, perfect. I don't know about Thank the guys. We'll have to ask them. Okay. All right. Thank you. Oh, raw denim. There's been quite a few snakes crossing up here. Look, there's nothing right here. Good grief. Look, there's another one hey. right here. Be on the lookout. There's a lot right. across this yep. levee. Yep. Be on the lookout, son. Yep, you might have something up there. If you see the grass move. Whoa, right there. Snakes. Oh, I think one got me. No, it wasn't to me, no, I think no. I got snake yeah. Oh, yeah, he got me. No, they didn't want to scratch it. He'll pop you, trust me. You got you, that anal venom? 
I don't have any anti-venom. Why don't you have it? Because it costs $10,000. I ain't going to spend well, $10,000. Watch where you step. My arm's going numb, dude. You didn't get bit, okay? I did. He no. grazed me. I'm, I'm telling you. You done lost your mind. You want to send Cy in to confirm it? No. Yeah, go ahead. No. Right. I'm scared of him. I done told you. All right, here's what we did. We all go up to the boat. You stay behind me, Cy. Oh, you're going to go around the left flank. Yep. You'll come around to the front end of the boat. When you lift up the front end of the boat, I'm going to shoot the first ones by your feet. So don't go forward. Just trust me. I will kill them, and I won't shoot your foot. I don't know about that. There are times in life that demand quick, swift, assured action. Cole, you'll circle around to the back. Anything that leaves, just start blasting. What if we just blew the whole thing up? I like that better. I don't want to get shot. I've already gotten bit. Yep, you didn't get bit. There are also times in life that demand dynamite. And Cole is right. This is definitely one of those times. But you still got to go up to the boat to get the dynamite off. Well, what if we use your remote control truck? That way, we're not in any danger. That thing's too expensive, and I love that thing. River love. Well, hey, look, it's, it's a, a toy. toy. No, hobby grade. You strap dynamite on anything, and it no longer becomes a toy. Yeah. Yep, it's a stupid toy. I'll buy you another one. Promise you'll replace it. Yes. Me and Jason buy you a new toy. Sounds good. I'll split it with you. All right. Look, we put the dynamite in the bed of the truck. Plus, look, I got a pint of napalm jelly in my vehicle. Why are you driving around with that in your truck? Hey, you never know when you're going to use it. And hey, right now we need it. Well, let's just hurry up, because I'm about to faint, man. This venom, Whew. That's not a snake bite. All right, let's go get the truck. I'll get the dynamite. The dynamite, so I got the napalm. napalm. Hey, we'll make a fireball like you ain't seen lately. All right, take it slow. That's right. Plus, don't be jerking it. You're sacrificing this toy for the greater good. It's easy for you to say. I love this toy. My name is Summer. You're one weird dude, Jep. Slow and steady wins the race. Jep, what are you doing? Jep. Are you drunk? Why are you taking a right? Look. You got to go straight, son. Wouldn't it be cool if right when it goes under the boat, one of them, like, tries to bite it? But hey, sink your fangs into Try, this. Right, get, some of, get some of this there, buddy. Hey. I'm going in the boat. All right, take it in the boat. Right there. All right, he's got it under the boat, boys. Perfect. Well, let's blow this puppy up then. This is definitely the most unusual method that I've ever been a part of on the removal of snakes. But it's definitely the most cool. Let's do this. Die. Whoa, baby. That was awesome. <laughs> Seeing the ball of fire and smelling the smell of burning snake, it does something to a man. That sends my beard. Wow. Hey, send your beard. And to share that with your son, this is Manhood 101. Well, I guess that took care of that. Well, hey, case scroll has been avenged. Good idea, Carl. In the big way, boys. Anybody for uh, crispy hors d'oeuvres? So you can't eat those. Hey, you might can. You might like snake. I, I want know. my $500 by tomorrow, by the way. $500? For what? That's how much what? that costs. Yeah. It was a hobby grade, dude. You spent five hundred dollars on hobby that. Hobby grade. I'm keeping the remote. He's keeping the rope for summer. Summer is no longer, Jip. Move on to winter. Oh, where are these guys at? There they there are. They it's are. about time. Where have y'all been? I've been killing snakes. Y'all look rough. Jeff, what happened to you? That's the bandage for I him. got bit. What? I'm he didn't super get bit. busy right he now. He didn't get bit. Yeah, I did. I don't you think you'd be stick. standing there if you got bitten by I'm a snake. I'm super yeah. wizzy. You need to sit down. He didn't get bit by a snake. Stick stuck him. All right, were y'all ready to dress up? What do you mean, dress up? They're putting clothes on us that are fancy. Look, I don't know about you, Jace, but I don't do dress up. You're going to do it one time. It'll be fun. Jeff, what do you think? Jeff, about to pass out. Let's just go back there. All right, let's go back there. Yeah, we have to Look talk for coming Look, already. I've done a lot of things working for you, but this takes the cake. Okay, so what's our vision for the shoot here? Let them be themselves. Let like them be themselves. Okay. I don't want to be like super set up either. Absolutely. But... Okay. So let them come out, do their thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, okay. Wow. All right, Jace. Wow. 
good. Ah. The guys look amazing. You know, these clothes make our guys look a little younger. Oh! Whoa! Teacup Glasses. matches your shirt. Even Cy. Yeah, I mean, Cy looks like he's like 55, which is young for him. <laughs> OK. Hey, Jeff. Shark dress man. Jeff, you look the same. This That's is your normal That's clothes. Me. Jeff actually didn't look that different. I know, but exactly the same as every other day. It's pretty much what he wears. <laughs> about the glasses. This should really help generate some buzz for Rebecca's store. Yeah, I'm just glad there's photographic evidence of this. You know what? This would be a really funny Christmas card. Or blackmail. Yeah, I don't think the sunglasses are working for you. Like, do this one, maybe. <laughs> his hat is sitting on top of his head. I guess he just have a weird shaped head. It's just a big head. I think we should do like a group shot. Do a group shot? Yeah. OK, perfect. So I know you guys are all dressed a little funny, but can we just take a step closer into each other? Funny. That'd be OK. Then the One, two, three. three. That looks good. Yeah, great stuff, guys. I should do like candid, just like laugh. Just check it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like yeah. you're talking to each other. Yeah, yeah, give me a laugh. Right? Perfect, perfect. Yeah, yeah, One, two, three. Yeah. Player. Willie, be natural. You just not. You gotta just be natural. That's not natural. Yep, right. yep, that that's yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. No. Get more, oh, more, oh. Willie. Yes. Burning my eyes. Hi, right, look. There's not many people that know this, but between the military and going to college, I was actually an amateur male model. You're gonna walk towards me. Do a slow walk. You start walking, guys. Let me prove it to you, OK? Here's some of my signature poses from way back when. Like this one I call the bald eagle. White smoke. Cruel intention. Lips incorporated. Crunchy taco. Playground slide. Solar eclipse. Honey bunches of oats. The inquisitive. <laughs> Joker. I need you to astronaut. All right, everybody walk towards me. You ready? One, two, three, go. There you go. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Robot. See, now, now you're roboting robot. and not astronauting. I know, so. but that's way cooler. I'm the Cindy Crawford, OK, of bearded, camouflage-wearing, southern senior citizen hunters. I've been saying this for years. Are we done? We've got about we're 500 photos, yeah, like, yeah? what do you think? Do you think we got I mean, all of them? Melting. Oh, absolutely. I didn't put any deodorant on, and I oh. stink. Oh, I don't, know. You don't have to tell yeah. me that. I, I, yeah. Yeah. We, we already, can smell. We, we already knew that. that. I OK, think. cool. But sweet. I think you know, we got it. Up. You're good. Right. I thank y'all so much. Wait, do one. Rebecca, do one with you in the middle. Willie's starting to sweat through his shirt, so. OK, hurry. One more. Unless you want to get it. All right. Seriously. Last one, ready? One, two, three. Perfect. I love it. All right. Thank y'all so much. Y'all look great. It was cute. Y'all look guys. fabulous. Babe, you look hot. Yeah, I am hot. I'm sweating profusely. Let's pray. <laughs> Lord, we thank you for this day and this food and just every little thing you bless us for and help us just love you and love one another. It's in your son's name, amen. 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 Let's get on this food. <laughs> Oftentimes in life, you're faced with situations where making a small sacrifice can help benefit the greater good like blowing up your favorite toy car to help clear the land of dangerous snakes, or putting on clothes you'd never wear to help promote a family member's business. In times like these, you have to forget about your needs and think about the big picture. Even if that picture would be posted all over social media for everyone to see you looking ridiculous in tight pants and a hat that doesn't fit. Man, these skinny jeans are way too tight. As if you would fit in skinny jeans, fat boy. I'm leaving right now. Well, look, if you call and say, are you ready to go, it doesn't mean I'm standing there with my car keys in my hand, which I don't have in my hand. Just like most men, I believe that phone conversations should last no longer than 10 seconds. Yes, now I have my keys. All right, bye. Yep. But there are some people who like to drag them out. Yep. 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 All right. No, you're not getting fat. No, I love that movie. Yes, I like your new shoes. No, that's fine. Of course, I noticed your haircut. I just made it up. God, Jeff is worse than my wife. OK, I'm on my way. All right. Oh! 
You idiot. Nothing. All right, I'll call Willie, you. Willie, you're going to kill somebody talking on that stupid cell phone. All right, bye. Hey, you going to pay for this? Pay for what? Hey, the damage you done to my dumb bumper guard. Sal, si, hey. there's no damage on the bumper guard. Look. You going to pay for this? Hey, what Willie's doing is illegal, OK? It's probably going to run you $3,500. Haven't you ever heard of the law? You break it, you buy it? There's nothing hey. wrong with it. He's very lucky that I don't call the cops on him right now. Hey, let me borrow your phone. I'm going to call the police. Yeah, officer, he's male, he's hairy, definitely fat. Looks like a whiskey barrel. It ain't no telling what's done to that one. I don't care about that one. That's Jeff's truck. He's a crazy man. They ought to put him in a bumper car. Yeah, I hope. Good creep, come on. Bottom line, you're going to pay for this. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No. Yes, you are? No. You are? No. No? Side. Hey, family discount. All right. Hey, give me $1,000. We'll call it even. What is this, extortion? See, you got a bad attitude. Side, I got to go. Hey. Give me a bill for a buff job. Hey, it's going to cost you. I try to be nice. Yeah, whatever, Sai. Hey, you'll be hearing from my lawyer. I got menthol angles. This lady is a professional mermaid. What are you looking at? I'm looking at a professional mermaid. How do you get a gig being a fictional character? There's a reason I limit my internet activity. Yeah, no, seriously, look. They look real. This is not real. You take a group of perfectly normal bearded men. It's a merman. And put the internet at their fingertips? Well, duh. How do you expect there to be little mer children? Boom. Oh, look, there's a little mer baby. Idiots. No, they can't reproduce at all. Well, where'd they come from? Why am I even discussing this? I feel like an idiot just being around them. I could be a manners. A what? Hey, let me look that up. Is that a cross between a man and a walrus? Are these the chairs from the conference room? These are way more comfortable. Mine has my name on it. There's not one chair in the conference J -A -S -E. room. J-A-S-T. Quit stealing the nice chairs. I'm tell you, once you take something and put your brand on it, no, it's yours. That Don't listen to that. Look, I want all these chairs back in the conference room, all right? Where's Si? He's at the doctor. For what? He's sick? No. After y'all had your wreck. Si's ability to exaggerate the truth is legendary. Oh, yeah. my gosh. Are you kidding me? No. Somehow, he's turned our little accident yesterday into a... Major collision, Jack. I don't know what's worse, size exaggerations. What is his problem? Or that these morons actually believe him? I mean, did you hit him? No, it was like a bumper kiss. A what? Light bumper kiss. <laughs> that was it. I've never heard of that. They just went... What? Sure it wasn't a French kiss? What are y'all talking about? Kiss. Nothing. OK, well, there's a man outside, and he said he's here to deliver Si. What, is he a pizza? Hey, I got to see this. Yeah, oh, I'm yeah. Here. This is going to be all right here. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Hey, I should have seen this one coming a mile away. Si, get off that thing. I can't. I got back damage. About once a year, Si comes up with some stupid excuse to miss work. Back damage? <laughs> yeah. You got hey. brain damage, you idiot. No, hey, my athlete's foot's flaring up. I can't walk. I've got residual nerve damage in my back. Chicken pox. Can't work. It compressed two or three vertebrae back there. I got Stockholm syndrome. I like to broke my neck. Hey. Hey. You ain't got no nerve damage, son. Hey, the doc said I did. Last year, he was on crutches two weeks before I finally broke down and made him employee of the month. Get up and let me run. What do you not understand about, hey, I'm damaged? 
Oh, we could have told you that. Hey. Is this for real? Is he really Can hurt? Can you take that sucker off road or what? Let me show you what it'll do. <laughs> Nah, nah, hey, hey. Watch your feet. Pop a wheelie on that thing. The older you get, the harder it is to get excited about anything. Are you seriously telling me he's hurt? Look at him, he's popping wheelies. Oh, yeah. I just did the delivery, sir. All right, watch this, boys. But this scooter. I want one. Sir, can I get you to sign this? Up, up, and away, trigger! This thing is off the hook and the chain. Can you stop and sign this for me, please? Nah. It'll blow your socks off, your pants off, cufflinks, whatever you're wearing, it's coming off. All right, let's roll. Back to work. Man, he's going to need a helmet with that. Ah, uh, how summer? No, oh, I'm fortunate. And away! Hey, watch where you going. Thank you. Mr. T! Mr. T's missing. Mr. T? Where could he have went? Only well, Mr. T I know of, that old burly dude with the gold chains. No. Hanging. Yeah, that's the old guy that went around saying, you know, I pity that fool. No. The big burly guy with the chains? No, don't. 18 I... man. No, I ain't seen him in Phil, years. This is serious. Mr. T, my turtle. Miss K lost her turtle. Mr. T! So, here we are. You think he got up here and got behind these pillows? Well, it's not that big a mystery, let's face it. Maybe this little boy here had turtle for breakfast. Bobo ate Mr. T. <laughs> Bobo, did you do it? Phil, I can't tell. It looks like he has a poker face. But one sure way to find out. See if you got little pieces of Mr. T in the stool of that dog next time he goes out there in the weeds. That's an awful thing to say. As Mr. T would say, I pity the turtle. You think I should smell his breath? Hey, if it's a dead turtle went in there, you'll find him. Open your mouth. There ain't nothing smells worse than a dead turtle. Oh, good night. Whoo, old turtle breath. Look, we've heard his feelings. Bubba, we're sorry. You don't have to look over there. It's OK. Looks pretty guilty to me. Next time I run the crawfish traps, I'll see if I can find you another one. Well, there's not many things that can get me up and out of my chair. I can't move on without another turtle. Especially while I'm sharpening my knife. What are you doing right now? I'm sharpening my knife, and the last thing I ever thought would get me out of the chair would be on a turtle hunt. If you want some loving tonight, today's the day. However, so is this one of them no honey on the biscuits maneuvers here? You got it, Jack. Miss K made me an offer that I just couldn't refuse. Grab you a jar. I'll go get you another one. I'm going to go get my boots on. I still think you're the one that got that doggone turtle. You can't fool me, turtle breath. Charge! Oh. <laughs> well, you gonna pick them up? No. What? Yeah, you gonna pick them up. I'm not picking them up. I can't. Sir. Hey, look. This is confirmed by a doctor. If okay? you went to any doctor in the world, they would deduct that there's obviously something wrong with you. I what are you talking about? Psy is impeding our ability to be productive. Look, I'm helping you boys out. We're having to work more because you're running over stuff. The only thing worse than having to do a job... Look, there's some more boxes over there. Go right? here and then... Oh, oh, hey! Sorry about that, Martin. ...is having to do the same job twice. Quit doing that, you old fart. Sorry, you're making me nervous. No. We got to put a stop to this and get back to work. I'll be back in a minute. All right, take your time. And that just irritates me to say that. Ah! Yes, sir. All right, yeah. boys, hey. And then take a left. All right. Oh, my goodness. OK, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to hey, work. what am I doing again? You're looking for this box. All right. Just let me know when you find them. We'll okay. go from there. All right. He needs to go home. Whoop. All right, I'm going to go talk to Willie about this. Just a long man on his scooter fighting the world's injustices.
Are you sure we find good turtles here? The best. You better help me down that hill, too, mister. I'll hold on to the back of you. Redneck women always walk behind that way. I'll get on the snake first, see? What? Ever since we were dating, Phil's always gave me turtles. Oh, there may be a few little copperhead down in here. Quit talking about that. It's just like his version of bringing me flowers. There's one right there. <gasps> That's how I knew he was the one. I'm just kidding. I knew you'd hug me. That's why I did that. Well, you don't have to do that to get me to hug you, Buster. He's just a big old softy when it comes down to it. This looks like where Huckleberry Finn was in that movie. All right, Miss Kay, let's see if we got you a turtle. Whoop, there is a turtle. Well, look how cute. First trap, one turtle. Oh, don't throw it in there, oh, my goodness. Sweet. That baby's tough, Miss Kay. Oh, you right. how cute. Bingo. There's your turtle. Let's go. Oh, it's a cute turtle, Phil, but it's just not Mr. T. Can we check another trap? Yes. Miss K is looking for that perfect turtle. And be very gentle when you put him back, okay? Phil. He's happy. Be nicer. My perfect turtle has got to be cute. So what about this baby? Oh. Huh? He's just got to look about him. It's just not going to work. I'll know him when I see him. Struck out again. Phil. My perfect turtle would be one that you find in the next 20 seconds. This is a beaut. Phil, that's stinky. Stinky Jim. Phil, I just love it when they have a little design on their shell. Too active. You could paint a little rock green. Oh, he's too shy. Presto, there's your turtle. Hey, mister. No. Looks fine to me. Nah. It's a turtle? Nope. What more could you want? What do you think? No, he's too square. Good night. The things a man will do for a little honey on a biscuit. Phil, be nicer when you toss them back. Now, this one here is a little smaller. Oh, mouth came open. Wonder what that means. Are you yeah. a talker? Now, that one's not shy, I tell you that. Oh, hey, do you want to go to Turtle Town? What'd he say? Well, he's getting scared because you're talking. Just let mm, him listen okay. to my voice. Let me shut up, Ben. Turtle Town. Hmm. If you're really good, I'll get you a little slide. Ooh, sounds like you have finally got the right turtle. You know what? Nah. When I mentioned the slide, there was no perk up. Deal breaker. Why do you have my chair? It's not your chair. It has my name on it. Quit writing your name on stuff. Once you put your brand on it. All right, good talk. That's not what I come in here for. I came in here to tell you we... Hey! Willie! Jane! That's side in the bathroom. You stuck. I need a little help here. Perfect. Leave him in there all day. Hey! Is that by Delf? This thing's stuck. There's nothing wrong with you! Are you prejudiced and Delf? There's nothing wrong with him. I've already called the doctor. You talked to the doctor? Yeah. He made up the whole thing. That makes me even more concerned. Because I can't believe that he went to a doctor and the doctor couldn't find anything wrong with him. Just hemorrhoids. Y'all gonna help me or not? I need to pee. Why don't you get out of that chair? Why don't you buy me a new bumper? Y'all heard the song Free Falling? Hey, I'm fixing to be free flowing. All right, I'll get him out of there. You're coming with me. Come on, big boy. I'm gonna tell Miss K on both of y'all. What are you doing? I'm going in. Well, I can see this little situation isn't going away quietly. Hey, ready to come back? No. Yep. I got yep and no. Which one of them? No. Yep. I can't believe that Cy would actually pee his pants. Good grief. Rather than admit that he's making something up. This place is a death trap. This is over the top, even for Cy. Cy, we all know you're faking. I'm what? You're faking. Hey, no. Look, these guys don't have respect for their elders. It's not handy for handicapped people. It's like they don't realize that, hey, they're gonna get old one day. Si, this is my bathroom. It's not the handicapped bathroom. That one's down the hall. Guess what happened then, big boy? You've got the best toilet paper with it. The other stuff is like sandpaper. That is true. No one's gonna be helping you with your scooter in the commode either. Si. Hey, I gotta clear my head, okay? He wants to play hardball? Get the pizza junk. Oh, up. I'll play hardball with you. I don't ever back down. The pizza junk. What's a piece of junk? Piece of junk! Stupid knucklehead, Willie. I'm hungry anyway.
He left on the scooter? Yeah, he took the scooter. He said, I'm out of here. Here you go. Here you go. <laughs> he's still gone? Yeah. I think he's out there driving the streets. Well, we tried. My uncle is 65 years old. How far you reckon he could get on that scooter? He'll be fine. Y'all need to finish that order. The man has been to Nam and back. He took the scooter? I mean, if he's out there on the highway, can you imagine? Now everyone's all up in arms worried about it. We better go check on it. Which is exactly what he wants. He's a grown man. He'll be fine. Think of me as America, Jack. I don't negotiate with terrorists. Willie, we're talking about Cy here. Yeah. He almost died once by a plastic fan. I think we need to go find All him. right, let's go find him. This could be bad. Hey, I'm driving, Willie. You ain't driving my truck no more. Window. No, Willie ain't got a clue. Knucklehead. He definitely don't understand nothing about being old and everything you got is going south. OK. Willie hadn't got a clue what an old man goes through on a day-to-day -day basis. He put me in this thing. It's hot. My eyes have melted. I've got all sort of ailments he doesn't even consider. I'm hungry. I'm tired. My back's killing me. My hemorrhoids are flaring up. I'm getting old, OK? I'm fed up with getting no respect from anybody. The well, only thing would make this worse if a rain cloud got right over the top of me and just poured down and raining. It's like they think I'm in their way all the time. That thing's got a steering wheel. Go around. Act like they ain't never seen a man on a scooter before. Yeah, go around me, you idiot. Hey, I skipped from the old home. Don't worry about it. Now, this is a butte. This is one you're going to love. Turtle searching is not that exciting. <gasps> Look at his belly. <sighs> After a few hours, it's becoming a little bit boring. But look how pretty that is. Oh, no. Now, that is a turtle. That is beautiful. I'm a patient man. Is that a keeper? Oh. But I just don't know how many more turtles I can stand. Mmm. What about him? You know what? I think that you hit the jackpot. What I thought. Well, a man will go to extraordinary lengths to please his woman. Did you see him blink at me with those eyes? I missed that. I'm sorry. Plus, in the grand scheme of things... This is going to be absolutely perfect. It's worth it all if Miss Kay's happy, happy. Now we got honey on the biscuits. Hey, right. I just thought of something. You know why Mr. T might have took off? I never have thought about it. He might have been lonely. I want you to find another turtle. Women about have nuts. Oh! Hi, old summer. Hey, what are you looking at? Oh my oh, gosh, gosh. Hey. look at here. <laughs> hey, Granny. Go around, you idiot. Get your butt back over to work. What? I really don't know why, but Sal, this is dangerous. Hey, everything's cool. Sal, is this about your bumper? About the $600 scratch on it? No. Why would I be upset about something like that? If it's about your bumper, I'll buy you a new bumper. Do what? I didn't hear that. Let's go. This is stupid. All right. Sir, si, stop. <laughs> Where's he going? Hey, negotiations are my thing, man. Plus, two days running on this. You've only added a day. Two days running on my scooter. Fine. Plus, hey, si. son of I've got Willie right where I want him. Hey, plus, I'm starving to death. Lunch. No. Plus lunch. Sorry, you pushing it. Did I hear you right? Lunch? Perseverance gets you anything you put your mind to. If you'll stop right now. All right. Let's see if I can think of anything else that I can get you for. <laughs> if not, hey, I'd have just took Willie's bumper anyway. I'll buy the bumper, rent the scooter, and God will buy you lunch. Ha-ha! <laughs> hey, success is sweet, boys. Hey, right. you got it. Hey, I thought you couldn't walk. <laughs> it's a miracle. Y'all load hey. the scooter up. I'll get in. Get in? Hey, we don't no. have enough room. What do you mean y'all don't have enough room? Well, where do you expect me to ride? Hey, drive this thing careful. Up, up, and away, trigger. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all, Bob. 
Father, we thank you for this good meal that Miss Kay has prepared for us. I pray that more men have women like her. Amen. Amen. When it comes to family, you have to learn to read between the lines. People don't always come right out and say what they actually want, especially Sai, who can't even pronounce what he wants. But one thing I've learned is it doesn't matter what they're asking for. What they really want is to know that you care. And whether you spend your day hunting turtles or shell out a bunch of money for some stupid bumper, it's all worth it to show your family how much you love them. Has anybody seen Mr. T? Corey? What? It's John David doing here. He's your next interview. With Doug Commander getting bigger lately, I've decided to hire myself an assistant. Just because I'm the CEO doesn't mean I hook up all your family members for jobs. Really? You hooked up all your family members? Problem is, Corey keeps bringing in her family to interview. Corey, he is a slobby hobo. Don't say that. He's right out there. I don't care. The last thing I want to hire is more family, especially Corey's. He's smart. He's educated. He's got on flip-flops. I think he's going to be perfect. All right, five minutes, and that's it. All right. You think my family's weird? You should check out hers. All right, here he is. Hey, John Day, what's up, brother? You doing good? Yeah, man, I'm doing great. Oh. Lost a flip-flop, Lost my bad. Sheet. Flip-flops. All right, well, cool. Well, um, I ain't got much time, man. I got, like, five minutes. I got another something to do. All right, yeah, I'll take a seat. Tell him what your degree is, John David. I'm a finance major, so. See? Ah. How long were you in money? school? Like, 10 years? That's the six. Willie, you need an assistant. He needs a job. Hey, take it easy. Nacho Libre, huh? Mm. That movie is fantastic. Wow. It's the best in the world. Oh, God. <laughs> Here's the deal. If I can get along with you, that's half the job right there. I've memorized that entire movie in my mind. <laughs> and so far, I'm noticing that, much like me, he can quote and appreciate highbrow comedies. Nacho! This guy might just be a little bit the deal. The best. Everybody's dancing at the party. Wasn't that from Nacho Libre? It's more the delivery. All right, Corey, we need some quiet time. All right, I'll have fun. All right, you're hired. Clean all this crap up on my desk. I need some coffee too, like bad. Right now, or chop chop. Bang, bang, Johnny D. Find some tennis shoes, for crying out loud. Nacho! 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 Well, you're not doing it right. Hey, it's lunchtime. Ah, what? stop it. You start eating that, there won't be any left. It is good, though. Hey, hey. that's my baby. Oh, mm. What about it? Little baby. Little baby. Little baby. Little baby. Little baby. Little baby. So, Jeff, what'd you do, get a day off? I took a personal oh, day. Where's your woman? Well, Jess is sick, so I had to get out of the house and bring the kids somewhere else. Good. Well, you ought to leave them with them. Tell the only them way to beat a disease is you got to catch it, beat it, you don't get it anymore. He says it builds up your immunity. No doubt about it. It does. Dad is nuts sometimes. Throw them out there in that dirt and that mud, let them wall around a little bit. He used to expose us to microbes as a kid. Immune system, bump, bump, bump. You know what came of that? I got sick. A lot. You know what you kids need to do? Get out there in the mud, find any kind of dung, pick it up and throw it at each other. See what I'm saying? Don't do What's that. What's a dung? It's so like poo-poo in a, in a pancake. Uh... Hey, why don't you guys take the kids outside to play? That's the best idea I've heard all day. Y'all want to go play? I'll yeah! Think, yeah, I'm thinking about that. We can go on a treasure hunt. <gasps> yeah! Hey, look, I am the best treasure hunter in these parts. No. Mm-mm. Hey, look, one time, Phil buried a pair of shoes, tennis shoes, okay, outside our house. My old great uncle told me one time, he said, if you ever catch a skunk in a trap, don't take him out. I didn't follow that advice. I said, I'm gonna get this skunk out of this trap. Well, I ended up stomping him to death 
and I had a pair of tennis shoes on. I went out there and buried the tennis shoes because it stunk so bad. I found them, I dug them up, and hey, I wore them all the time. They stunk from the time I stomped that skunk till they rotted off size feet. I played basketball for hours in the thing. And look, hey, nobody could guard me. When that sucker came down the court dribbling that ball, you could just see them other guys just getting out of his way. They were a little stinky, but other than that, perfectly good shoes. It was the funk zone. Long story short, I'm a great treasure hunter. All right, look, y'all give me about 12 minutes, and I'm fixing to go out here and set up the treasure hunt. Treasure. Okay, you okay. want to come with me? No. Nacho! Is the ball flat? Listen, listen. Man, that's been a good ball, man. See if you can fix it. Uh, what, you mean give it CPR? Give it mouth to mouth. Put that down. Gentlemen, after a long, exhaustive search, I finally found my perfect assistant. What's going on, guys? You can call him Johnny D. He's gonna be helping me out. What do you need a manservant for anyway? Willie doesn't need any help around the office. I need help. I'm not even real sure what he does. I'm stretched thin. You've never been stretched thin in your life. He just wanted someone slightly heavier and hairier. It's amazing how much y'all look alike. Thank you. So he looked better by comparison. He looks like a reflection of you. That's actually good. He is a reflection of me. When you see him, you see me. Are you delusional? I'm not taking orders from a guy wearing shorts and sandals. Don't worry about what he's got on, all right? You wouldn't last five minutes in the woods wearing that. But we're in a warehouse. Good comeback. Thank you. Johnny D, what else I got today? Dude, I've only worked here for like 30 minutes. Come on. I'm gonna work on that. Yeah, we'll get when that. I go fist, you go fist. Yeah, okay. So always. Fist means fist. Uh. All right, look here. Y'all welcome to Uncle Si's great, amazing, okay, great, just out of this world treasure hunt. Know what I mean? Woohoo! All right, y'all fired up about it? No. No! No! No. Uh, yeah, we are. We're fired up about it. Hey, look, when it comes to putting on a treasure hunt, look, I found my own special style. Y'all are fixing to go on an event of a lifetime. Look, it's almost too much fun, if there were such a thing. So, si, what are those cards for? OK, look, you got to have riddle cards. Hey, trust me, there's not. I tried. You can't just wing it, OK? This is a methodical treasure hunt. Championship. All right, we're here. Let's dig it up or whatever. No, I don't think so there, Eddie Vader. You think X marks the spot? Yeah, that's no, exactly what it is. No, X marks the starting spot. No, that's totally backwards. That's the starting point right there. X marks the starting point. No, no, it doesn't. Hi, yes, yes, it does. It makes perfect sense. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it makes perfect sense. Nope. All right, moving right along. All right, here's the riddle. This first lady took flight when her husband was elected the 36th president of the United States. So what are you talking about? Hey, it's a riddle. Look, I might never gave you the answer. These kids are 10 and under. They ain't gonna know that. Uh, look, this is easy. Cy has always had trouble with age-appropriate activities. Listen to it. This first lady Took flight. Took flight. Flight. Si, I don't know what you're talking about. When I was five, Si gave me and my brothers matches, and he taught me to light my farts on fire. Hey, you got 30 seconds to answer. Or what? What happens? Hey, pipe down there, Pearl Jam. Now that I think about it, I'm lucky to be alive. The president was Lyndon Bain Johnson, so the first lady would be who? Nobody. Come on. What flies? Name some stuff that flies. Bird? Bop. Right answer. So, what's her name? Lady. Lady. Bird Johnson. All right. Where do birds live? Nest. No. But <laughs> where do birds live? Sasha, she's right. She's right. Trees. Trees? Birds don't live in trees. <laughs> Birdhouses. Bird lives in birdhouses. Good grief. Where is there a birdhouse around this joint? 
Right there. Right here. Uh, All right. Where you going? Now, that's where the clue is. Bye. It's boring. You're boring there, Mr. River. Ty, si, would you quit arguing with my son? This is just raw cinnamon. It is impossible to eat that. <laughs> So far, having Johnny D as an assistant is working out swimmingly. The kid is smart, he's funny, and he even taught me a thing or two I didn't know. There's something about cinnamon in your mouth that makes you... <laughs> if you don't have an assistant, you should really go get one. They're awesome. That's what everybody does. You can't... Oh, we're just watching this girl try and eat cinnamon. We need a meeting. I got tons of crap I'm trying to do. Yeah, you look busy. Indeed, meeting time. All right. Take notes. You got it. I was thinking about a private meeting. Put private meeting with Jace. I don't think you follow me. And put the time and date. Private. Whatever you say in front of me, you can say in front of Johnny D. Well, the meeting was about him. Now, I'm fine if he sits here. I just think it may get awkward for him. Johnny D, go get some coffee or something. All right, you got it. Yeah, make me some coffee. Don't be ordering my assistant around. He stuck his head in my shop and said, get back to work. <laughs> I told him to do that. <laughs> this assistant thing, it's not working. If you want to pick up a hobo and help him out, great. I ain't taking no lip off no manny. What is a manny? It's like a nanny, but it's a manny. But pigs will have to fly before I take orders from this guy. That doesn't even make sense. He's taking care of all your stuff. He's like your redneck butler. What redneck doesn't want a butler? Well, me. Good point, good meeting. Don't blame me when he comes down here and he's Because I'm going to put him to the test. Jase, don't you mess with him. You can count on that. If you mess with him, you mess with me. Deal. That's not a deal. Hey, I got the next riddle for you. Look at me. Cowboy. No. Nope. You're a downhill skier. No. Nope. You're a crazy man leading us on a ridiculous treasure. No. Nope. Hey, I'm sitting. Uh, no. Nope. Rocking chair. Hey, rocking chair is the right answer. Uh, Y'all ready to go? Rocking chair is over. There better be candy in it. No, that's where the next clue is at. Then I'm not going. Come on. First of all, it took Cy si over an hour to set up this stupid treasure hunt. Cy, si, we're losing these kids. They're having a the time of their life. I don't care anymore. Fun overload. And second, it's not even a treasure hunt. It's just stupid riddles. All right, name the founding members of Credence Clearwater Revival. Superman? Nope. I'll help you out. Down on the river, out in the streets, over on Phil's land, not even skipping a beat. What are you singing? Mm, mm, that ain't no. Mm, 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 Are you finished? Mm, 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 mm. Hey. Is there candy here? Are you finished? Mm, 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 all right, we're almost there, OK? Oh, by the way, you're going to need shovels. What for? It's called buried treasure for a reason. I passed the hole. I think it'll work. Did you? Yeah. No. That's like size head, empty. Look, if you lose a basketball, the game must go on. That's just the redneck way. Ah, uh, let's just keep playing with the Frisbee. You know, when I was a kid, we played Frisbee with a pizza pan. It's all in the wrist, boys. And look, when we lost that, we played golf with a hoe and a shovel. Hey, this is fun. The game is marching forward. This is our new game, Basket Bee. Pass. Make the pass. Oh! oh. I'm going to get my Jordan. Oh! oh. oh. Okay. <laughs> That's a water bottle cap. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, guys? 
Well, if it isn't old Manny. What's y'all doing? Playing a little game of basket B. What happened to the basketball? The basketball is flat. That's weird. What are you writing down there, Manny? Don't worry about it. Anyway, we need to uh, rendezvous over there in the conference room for a little while. We got a meeting set up. Meeting? This is an important meeting. We need to have it, so. No. Nah. What are you doing that's so important that you can't meet? We got to do something. Inventory. Inventory. Yeah. Look, I've been at Duck Commander for 30 years. Doesn't really look like inventory is happening to me. No, it was pretty good. You should have seen it. An outsider can't just barge in here and start ordering my team around. Yeah, but anyway, if we could just, you know. No. You got to earn your respect. Manny. You can't break our ranks. Let me tell you something, Manny. I got snacks. Oh. I like snacks. Perfect. Unfortunately, our ranks consist of two very large men. They're snacks. Who love to eat. They're good snacks, not just the crappy snacks. I'm in. Mark. What, inventory doesn't have snacks. This meeting does. I'm all about snacks. Awesome. Well, I'll see you guys in a few then. Jace, I'll see you there. Is that easy? You act surprised. Look at us. Mallet point. It's snacks. These donuts are not even hot. Everybody knows that when I eat a donut, it's got to be flaming hot. If this guy thinks he's going to entice us, at least he needs to do it right. It's not hard to do. Rule number one of bribery, hot donuts. With black coffee. I'll make a note. Godwin and Martin, OK, they fell for it. Nice work. But I just wanted to let you guys know that. <sighs> Lodge tear. Lodge tear. Deep breath. <sighs> It's gonna take something more than that before I'm hook, line, and sinker. Where's Willie? Off the premises right now. What does that mean? He's at the driving range. Why are we in here while Willie's playing golf? And other than your beard, I'm not sure you're qualified to work here. There is only one surefire way to test the merit of a new employee. Well, we'll settle this right now. Uh-oh. This separates the men from the boys. If you can make a decent mallard sound, I will listen to the rest of your five minute presentation. Do you know how to operate a duck call? I think that was enough. Yeah. All right, let's get out. Hey, thanks for the donuts. I'm going to grab one for the road, though. Oh, what the crap? I just take the whole box. Come on, Gavin. Let's get out of here. No, wait. He ain't leaving me out. So, si, why'd you bring us to a gravesite? Daddy, did somebody die? X marks the spot. That doesn't look like an X. That looks like a grave marker. It's fitting that Sai si took us to a grave at the end of this treasure hunt. If you look at it this way, it's an X. Because this is where fun has come to die. They're not going to dig up any animals, are they? I can't guarantee that. So okay. you realize it's going to scar them for life if they dig up some dead animal? Well, look, I, I'm just telling you, I buried candy, OK? So if you dig up a bone, that ain't the candy. Go ahead and dig it up. Uh, uh, uh. Do not hit each other in the face with those. It's funny that the only part of this treasure hunt Si, how deep did you bury this stuff? I don't remember. That's actually a treasure hunt. Look at how much fun they had. Yeah, they're supposed to kill each other. It's candy buried in dirt. She just put that in her mouth, Si. Uh, that dirt that's on good it. for you. Yeah, that's a real treasure. Oh. This was a terrible day. Terrible day? What are you talking about? It was a great treasure hunt. Anybody seen Johnny D? You mean Manny? Manny. Manny. He's probably sitting in the bathroom crying. Trying to figure out where it all went wrong. Yeah. I told you not to be messing with him. I told you I was going to mess with him, and I put him to the test. And guess what? He failed. Speak of the What's devil. Up? Oh, Manny. Manny. What's up, y'all? Well, he didn't quit. Where have you been? Looks like he's been rummaging around your bandanas. <laughs> <laughs> I was just trying to look more professional. What do you think? Well, just when I thought he couldn't possibly be a better assistant, he goes and throws on the Stars and Stripes bandana. 
Thank you. But that was did. better. That was better. Way better. God. My little Willie is growing up to look just like me. Twinsies. What you got in the bag? Kind of got weird earlier. So I went to the store. Check out here. Hey. 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 Now we're talking. I'm trying to do my best to make the workplace better. I might have been a little quick to judge old Manny here. I mean, the basketball, that's a nice touch. Johnny did. I didn't tell you to go get a basketball. And the fact that it annoyed Willie? It's like giving Goblin a bag of Snickers and telling him not to eat it. Yeah, it's just dumb. Made it even sweeter. Theirs was flat, so I figured, you know, every once in a while you need to go shoot some hoops in the warehouse. Right, we'll meet about this later. You did good, son. Welcome to the team. But you're still a rookie. Manny? Since you came through with the ball, I'm gonna give your own personal duck call to practice with. All right. Well, thank you. All right. Let's go. Back to work. Everybody good? Whoa, 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 whoa. You know how hard it'd be to work staring at a brand new basketball? Jace, we're not playing basketball. Ah! Oh! Walk it in. Two uh, nothing. Two nothing. Two uh, nothing. Right here. I'm open. I'm open. Pass me the ball. I'm open. <laughs> Father, we do thank you for this good deer. For that, we are grateful. Through Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen. Sometimes life can feel like a Cy Robertson treasure hunt. Confusing, frustrating, even a bit dangerous. And when you finally get to the treasure, it's covered in dirt. But you don't dig up real treasures in life. The real treasure is spending some quality time with your kids or finding an awesome assistant, even if he looks like a caveman wearing flip-flops. Hey, Jeff, name the first three presidents of the United States. Sorry, are you serious? Hey, I was just wondering.